Today we're going to play Keep Away with Hannah Baker. So the main variation I'm using with Scarlet currently is Slow Blood Ball and Bowling Point, right? My playstyle with this variation was very simple. I throw a Blood Ball and I rush you down and just you're fucked. That's, that was my playstyle with it. Once I started learning about flawless blocking, shout out to Dark Side of the Beard. He taught me how to flawless block because it's been a mechanic that I've always ignored and always felt like I didn't need it. Once I learned about flawless blocking from Dark Side of the Beard, I changed my play style completely. Completely. It's just not the same Scarlet anymore. I have a completely different goal with Scarlet. And it's been way more effective. I feel like I became a better player for knowing the fact that, you know, my playstyle back then was just not as effective as the one that I'm currently using right now. So let me break it down for you. Strings that you're going to want to stay away from and use effectively is her forward four and her standing one. These have flawless block gaps, which fucking sucks. This is just a really good stagger. Like, doing stuff like this is something that every Scarlet player does. One, two, boom. Right? Now, if you keep doing this shit, you're going to get checked with a down four. Right? But one thing you got to do is, boom, land that fucking down one. Right? Or not land it, but like stagger it and then go into a grab. This is one thing that you're going to want to do. This is a real thing. This is such a real thing. If you condition your opponent for getting ready for this type of shit, boom. There's that. Plus, you don't have parry, so you got to get, you know, whatever. You got to play it smart. So doing something like this is real. Wrap. Another mind gear you want to have is one, two, boom. And when they try throwing a down four or something, flawless block that shit. Just flawless block that shit. One, two, if Scorpion tries throwing a, a down four right there, boom. Just flawless block that shit. And ha let them know that, hey, dude, I got those. Don't fucking disrespect me while I'm doing my strings. Don't fucking do that shit. So there's that. Another thing you could also do one, step back, do that. So there's little mind games to it, but you never want to complete the string unless, unless, you know, you pretty much got the hit confirmed off of the second hit. So once this shit, you know, if this shit, if the first hit does not land and you're not hit confirming it, like this is actually pretty solid to hit confirm in my opinion. I could hit confirm this shit. You can hit confirm this shit. So let me show you how it's a real hit confirm. Oh my god, I fucked up right there. Boom. Block. 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 Hit confirm. See, I could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. My reaction time is shit. So it, it is possible to hit confirm. Okay? It's very, very possible to hit confirm. So there's that. So every time your opponent, um, what is it? Let's make him get out of that state. Every time your opponent bomb, um, god damn it, you little shit, uh, let's just make him block, right? Every time this shit happens right here, yes, you could backdash, but if you really want to check your opponent, just flawless block that shit. Flawless block up three, not up two, up three. So, one, two, boom. That's, that's a mind game you definitely, definitely need to have. Definitely. So there's that. And once you start adding this mind game, one, grab, or even one, overhead, all, and all this shit or whatever. The whole point of doing all this shit is to grab your opponent and throw him across the screen. That's what you want from this situation right here. So there's that. Even with a 4-4. Four, four. You do a 4-4, four, four, boom. Wait for them to poke, flawless block their ass. Or not only that, boom, grab, or boom this or boom 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 and just go into pressure right there like m let him know that hey dude i'm not gonna do the gap so go fuck yourself and once they go fuck themselves they're gonna want to poke you boom flawless block the little bitch ass so that's a mind game you're gonna want to have with these moves this is how i feel like these moves should be used if you don't have the parry okay so and now i'm gonna show you guys how to actually play fucking um keep away with scarlet one move that you're gonna want to use a lot is her standing four baby oh my her standing two my fault her standing two is the fucking money maker this move is really really good right so you don't need slow blood ball with this shit one thing to do when you stagger this back dash and then throw a blood ball at him that is one thing that people are going to get so impatient with or even even whiffing this and doing something like that is such a real thing 
it is such a real thing. Like, just making them, like, eat all this fucking chip, like, or whatever. Boom. Or what is it? Like, you could do something like boom, 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 and then boom, throw it. 5% eat that shit, right? Or boom, and then go into a grab, or boom, and then do, not my fault, but do something like this. Oh, my fault. Boom. Something like that. Just keep messing with your opponent. You don't have to do unsafe shit. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I do shit like this. Fuck it. If I space it out, right? What is Scorpion going to do in this situation? If he tries teleporting, it's not going to be enough. I could actually block in time, right? Um, if he tries doing any of his buttons, they're just going to whiff. So you could, if you space the Blood Ball right, like, that shit's rough to punish. That is, like, not many characters could actually punish that shit, believe it or not. But again, you don't really have to do that shit. You could all, you, you could just do stuff like this. So don't be gimmicky. Don't do shit like this. I used to do stuff like this. It's not really worth it. Maybe throw it every once in a while. Just go into tongue or fuck it. Do this shit if you space it out correctly. So there's that. That's just one thing you want to do. Boom. And space shit out just right. This and a blood ball is really nice. Or this. Boom, boom. And then all my fault. Boom. One, two. And then going into a tongue or boom. And then just throw the tongue before them. Like just like that. And they'll walk right into it. Just stuff like that. Just make your opponent know that, oh, wow, this little shit's backdashing like a motherfucker. Okay, and then once they start understanding that you're backdashing, boom, check them with a down three. Just like that. Like, boom, down three. They get hit by it. You could gel your highs um, or you can straight up grab them. That is a very, very real thing right there as well. Because in this situation, the only thing Scorpion could really do is his down four. And if he does do his down four, there's actually a good chance I can short hop it or backdash out of it if he's reacting late to it. Now, another mind game we have to think about is this one that I never see people use. This is a real mind game that I feel a lot of people should use. Because if you do something like this and your opponent is expecting it, they could poke out of that. Scorpion could poke out of that. Every character could poke out of this right here. They just can. Even this right here. They can. They, they can. But if you do something like this, minus... Hold on. My fault. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Ah, boom. Minus five. Minus six. Where am I? Where's my minus four? Ah. Uh, minus four. So if you know how to space this move out just right, you could be minus four and it resets neutral. Now let's look at the damage, right? Let's look at the fucking damage, right? You're like, oh, what? That's not really worth it, right? If you do one, two, this, whatever. Thirteen. If you just do this, it's 10. It's just 3%. But another thing, if you're hit confirming this shit, 1, 2, boom, you can get 20%. 22% unbreakable. Not only that, but you have options. You can do stuff like this. Get your health back. Hold on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, my God. Ten. Hit advantage of 10, then they have to guess again. They have to guess again. Am I going to grab you or am I going to throw a mid at you? Or am I going to backdash and throw this shit at you and be annoying? You have to pretty much guess in this situation. But now, when you throw the 1-2, right? Everyone backdashes after the 1-2. Let's just keep it real. Everyone does this. They just backdash out of it. As you should. As you definitely should. If you space it out just right like that, hell yeah, backdash. But if you kind of fucked up, wait for the down 4 or the mid and just flawless block their little bitch ass. Just do it. Just fucking do it. So this is the mind games you need to have. One, grab. Pushes them across the screen. Work your way towards me. Then you throw a blood ball. Boom. And then the, you start fucking with them. Do you want to go in? Do you want to get out? It's up to you. This. Boom. Creates hella space. Motherfuckers want to take their turn back. They can't. And they start walking into shit. So there's that. One, two. Wait till they poke you. Flawless block their little bitch ass. One, two, backdash, backdash, throw a tongue at him. One, or one, two, backdash, backdash, sweep. One, two, boom, boom, overhead from Tokyo. Shit like that. Or one, two, boom, boom, crushing blow. Just like that. You got to do stuff like this and let them know, hey, dude, every stagger I do, I'm going to backdash. And if you reach, I'm going to fucking clip you. That's the mind game you want to have with this character. Not only that, but once you establish that mind game, it's like, okay, he's going to do this. He's for sure, for fucking sure going to backdash. Boom. Check him with your down three. 
This is a really good button. Do this one, not this one. If this shit whiffs, um, I, it's just much better to throw this shit out. So you can do one, two, boom. If they try dashing up, they're like me being minus seven. That shit's gone. You don't got to worry about that shit. So there's that. To do stuff like this or do one, two, space it out just right, and then, like, what are they going to do? In this situation, what are they really going to do? Um, and then, you know, hit confirm this shit, dude. You got to hit confirm this shit. If you're not hit confirming this, you got to hit confirm it, honestly. And then there's really nice options, as I showed you. You can get unbreakable damage. You can pop your opponent up. Um, let me, let's make... Like, you could pop your opponent up if they have no bar. Boom, boom, boom. And there's nice op combo options. One, two. And then they have to guess right there. I'm going to grab you. I got health back. And now you have to work your way towards me. So, as you guys see, man, there's hella mind games off this shit. Get 34% off of this shit right here. Boom, boom. 34%. And then guess what? They still have to worry and, like, work their way towards me. So, there's that. So, doing this... Stepping back and doing shit like this, it's a real thing. Do it. Fucking do it. So there's that. Another button that you're going to want to throw out a lot. A lot. And something that you're going to want to do a lot is when you land your pokes, you're going to want to do stuff like this. This is what you're going to want to be doing. Um, you're not going to want to be doing stuff like this. Mm -mm. Or stuff like this. No. That's a huge no-no. You do not want to do that. Or if you're going to land your pokes, grab. That's one thing you can do. Or do this, boom, and then those mind games that I told you about with this shit. Or you do something like this, boom, boom, go into that. Or boom, boom, boom. That is another one of my favorite setups. Boom, 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 boom. It just like resets neutral. You don't gotta worry about shit like that. Or this, boom, grab. Just like that. It's either reset neutral with spacing, using moves that are like really long, reset neutral, or grab. That's pretty much it. They're both very, very solid options. She doesn't really need the mix-ups, honestly. You can throw your overhead every now and then. Fuck it, we all do. It is what it is. But like simple sweeps and like knockdowns with Scarlet and like getting clipped with tongue, that shit can go a long way. It can go a long, long way. So just know that. We do the sweep. It's either I'm going to be back here and throw shit at you, work your way towards me, or I'm going to make it seem I'm going to do that. I'm going to walk up, grab you. Or I'm going to make it seem like I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pressure you. So there's that. The whole point of this video is reset neutral and make your opponent work their way towards you. Always be backpedaling. Always be backpedaling and make your opponent guess what you're going to do when you're backpedaling. Or at time, fuck it, just give it to them. Just, you know don't backpedal and just pressure them with moves that reset neutral like clip your opponent with this step up and then do that shit again and then start backpedaling just don't always be predictable with the backpedaling at times press your opponent when they least expect it and then once they get knocked down then you start backpedaling another thing is grabs because grabs in this fucking game um with scarlet um, look at your options. You get your opponent over there and then from right there. The perfect setup for boiling point. And then they lose that shit. You make, it seems like you're getting your territory. And then you step back and you make your opponent. Like, cause see, here's the thing. When you, when you hit somebody from far away and you just stay back here, like, it's like, okay, whatever, right? Like, it, it's just like, okay, you, you want a zone. That's cool. But when you do something like this, right? Or let me see. When you do something like this, right? You dash up, dash up, and then you like invade their territory, and then leave it, and you start throwing shit at them, people are gonna chase you. Because if I'm throwing shit from all the way back here, yeah, my opponent's gonna chase me, but there's like a good chance that I could hit my opponent on his way in, then over here. It's just being predictable. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, I'm back here, I'm throwing blood ball, I'm throwing shit at you. But if I'm like right here, and my opponent's chasing me, and he's going forward and I'm going backwards, there's a good chance I could clip that motherfucker on the way in and just make him eat chip and just annoy him with shit like this. Like doing something like this, grabbing my opponent, right? I mean, let's, let's just do, I don't know, something simple like this. Oh my fault. Right? And then I'm dashing up and my opponent thinks I want it and then I start back dashing. And then let's say he'll jump towards me and I'll anti-air him. Like, it just puts me in a position where I could fucking 
clip you on the way in instead of this way where it's like,